Since Final Cut 7 has been upgraded to Final Cut 10, there is a feature that has not yet been added to the new version, and that is the ability to add chapter markers. Now, chapter markers are useful for DVD creation because they allow you to create indexes and allow the viewer to be able to select particular parts of the DVD rather than playing the whole program. So let's have a look at how we can produce chapter markers in Final Cut 10. It requires the download of a little application called Metadata Hootenanny. When we launch this application, we can simply drag into the open panel here a QuickTime movie we've previously exported out of Final Cut 10. If we just go over here and have a look, here's a QuickTime movie. Just drag it in and you'll notice it's open there. So from here, the very simple solution is to move to the bottom of the screen. We can see a little open book down here that will open it up and show us the current chapters. Now, we can delete those current chapters if we wish, or we can simply add new one. Let's play, so it's pressing the play button. It opens the video and lets us scrub through or play through with space bar, stop, and start. We can use the arrow keys to move one frame at a time, so left hand arrow moving back one frame, right hand arrow moving up one frame, one frame at a time. So if we look here, wherever the playhead is located, so let's locate it in this position here and say, call this walking photo. So we'll move to the application and press the plus sign here. You'll see that it's added at that particular uh, frame, chapter 7. We will call that walking photos. We need to save this and we can save it in a number of different ways simply moving up to the save and we can save it as a self-contained movie which will take some considerable time. If it's going to a DVD you can save it as a reference movie. It will go to the location where the previous movie was. There's the full wedding movie and you'll notice now that there's one full wedding movie and it's just one and a half megabytes compared to the 13 or nearly 14 gigabytes of the original movie. This version of the movie can now be used on either iDVD or DVD Studio Pro to create your DVD. If we drag this to QuickTime and have a look in QuickTime, we can see there are the chapters and there's the one we've just added, walking photos.